Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Yeah, I've got a great breakfast idea for you. We are going to make omelet bowls. And we're going to use these right here. These are soft tortilla bowls. They're made with the flour. These come eight to a pack. And you can also find these in your aisle of the grocery store where your taco shells are. Yeah, so just grab some of these. Make these. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. You want to have everything ready like you're going to make an omelet, and then we're going to make it easy in these bowls. Let's go. First thing we're going to do is get our veggies and our meats prepared. You want to make sure everything is cooked first before we start making the bowls. Now, I'm using yellow onion and some diced bell peppers, and these are the colored ones because, you know, they're pretty to have in the bowl. And then I'm also going to be just cooking up some of the Jimmy Dean sausage. Or you can even cook up some bacon or you can dice up some ham. You just want to make sure that your meat is cooked through and your veggies are softened down. So let's go ahead, get that prepared. So I'm just going to get my pan ready. I'm just going to put it over medium high heat. Now I'm just going to place in half of my Jimmy Dean sausage. So this is a 16 ounce package. I'm going to be using 8 ounces. Now to that I'm also going to add in my yellow onion that I diced up. Now this is just about half of a medium onion. And then some bell pepper. Let's see how much will look good in there. We're going to be filling eight boats, so you just want to make sure you have enough for everything. That looks good. I'm just going to break up my sausage. We're going to brown it up, and then we're just going to soften down those peppers and onions and give them a little color also. Once you get your sausage all broken up, I tend to take my meat masher out and then just get all the sausage off of it. All right, we're going to turn this off. Okay, on a large sheet pan, I've just lined it with some parchment paper, or you can line it with foil. That's totally fine. Just spray it just a little bit so that your tortillas don't stick. Now, this is what they look like right here, soft tortilla bowls. They're the flour. There are eight of them in the package. All right, we're just going to open up the package. All right, that's what they look like. I'm going to place them on the pan in a bowl shape. Make sure they're in the bowl shape so they hold everything. How fun is this, right? I'm going to take my cooked sausage, peppers, and onions, and I'm going to put them in the bottom of the boat. You don't want to overfill with the sausage and peppers and onions because we've still got the eggs to put in and other things. Just fill the bottom. Now if you're using cooked bacon, just go ahead and crumble up your bacon and put that in there. Just make sure that you saute down your veggies. It makes a difference in flavor. All right, now we need to make our egg base. I'm going to be cracking one egg for every tortilla bowl. That's about how I estimate that. So just crack them into a medium bowl. You can always make extra egg, because if you have extra, then you can always just cook it up in a pan. Somebody will eat them. <laughs> It's better have a little more than not enough. All right, look around for shells and pull them out if you need to. I think I lost one in there. Now 
Now, I'm not putting any milk into this, but we are going to season with some salt right across the top, black pepper right across the top, garlic powder. Oh yeah, we're flavoring these eggs. They're gonna be delicious. Onion powder, we're gonna keep going. Paprika, season them the way you like them. You can just go salt and pepper if you want. And we've got some ground cumin. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna give it a little warmth in there. Right across the top. I'm gonna say this is about an eighth of a teaspoon of everything and the parsley. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. I'm all out of parsley. Okay. I'm gonna take a whisk and beat this all together. Make sure you beat these really good. Y'all let me know down below how you season your eggs. Once we get these all whisked up, we're going to bring over our tortilla bowls. All right, get them nice and frothy. That way we know they're all mixed together. There we go. All right, we're just going to take a large spoon, scoop it up, and pour them into the bowl. Now you don't want to fill these all the way up to the very edge of the bowl, okay? Because the eggs do expand when they cook. I'm using a measuring spoon. I'm going to make sure it gets down in there. This is a one-third cup. And if you have any more egg, you can either just make it in a separate pan or just look around for places you can put it that won't overflow. Should be just enough. All right, we've got some sharp cheddar cheese shredded or any flavor you like. We're going to sprinkle it right on top. I think we all love cheese on an omelet, right? I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees for 10 minutes and then we are going to lay some foil over the top that will keep the tortillas from burning and it'll allow the eggs to finish cooking which will take another 10 to 15 minutes until your eggs are set. Okay, we've just pulled these out of the oven. They're set very well. I'm going to take some chives and I'm just going to cut them on top. Give it a little color. Yeah, there's two missing. That's because my daughter just went to work and took two of them with her. <laughs> there we go. Oh, doesn't that look good? We're going to cut into one and give it a try. All right, let's cut one in half. Oh, doesn't that look good? All right, I'm going to take a bite. Mm. What a fun way to eat breakfast using your favorite omelet ingredients. Ooh, those eggs in there with all those flavors from the seasonings, that's delicious. You need to try that with that garlic, onion, cumin, paprika. Ooh, it just wakes up those eggs for sure. All right, you guys. Hope you give me a thumbs up on this one. Enjoy your breakfast. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mmm.